Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will derive equations of transmitted power, efficiency and redundancy of AM signal. And based on these equations, in future coming videos, I'll be solving some interesting examples. So in this video, I will derive transmitted power, efficiency and redundancy of AM signal. In my earlier videos, I have derived equation of AM signal. See, this is equation of AM signal that I have derived in my earlier videos. Here with AM signal, we have three frequency components. First frequency component is carrier signal. Carrier signal is having amplitude VC and frequency omega C. Second frequency component is upper side band that is having amplitude mu VC by 2 and frequency omega C plus omega M. Here mu is modulating index that is Vm by Vc. Third frequency component is lower sideband that is having amplitude mu Vc by 2 and frequency is omega C minus omega M. Here mu is modulating index that is Vm by Vc. So this equation that I have derived in my earlier videos, using this equation I will derive transmitted power first. So here you can observe we have AM signal that is having three frequency components. So what is total transmitted power if I say that is PT then that will be algebraic sum due to carrier signal that is PC plus power due to lower sideband that is PLSB plus power due to upper sideband that is PUSB. Here power due to lower sideband and power due to upper sideband that will be power due to sideband. So if I say power due to sideband that is PS then that will be PLSB plus PUSB. Here there are few basics that you need to understand. See this PC that is power due to carrier signal. So carrier signal that is not having any information, right? See it is having frequency that is omega C. It is not having any information. So power due to carrier signal that is PC and that is not having any information and all the information that is there due to sideband power. You can observe upper sideband and lower sideband both are having frequency component omega m and omega m that is a frequency of message signal. So one can say sideband power that is having information of message signal right. Now I will calculate power due to carrier signal, power due to lower sideband and power due to upper sideband. If you observe carrier signal that is Vc cos omega Ct. So power will be how much? See power will be square of the amplitude divided by 2. For sine or cosine if you want to identify power then that will be square of the amplitude divided by 2. So power due to carrier signal PC that will be square of the amplitude divided by 2 means it is Vc square by 2 right. If you want to identify power due to lower sideband that is PLSB. So that will be half of square of the amplitude. So here we have amplitude square that is mu Vc by 2 whole square into half. So it will be in total 1 by 8 into mu square Vc square right. Similarly we can identify power due to upper sideband that is half of square of this amplitude. So that will be half of mu square Vc square by 4 means in total it will be 1 by 8 into mu square Vc square right. So now we have power due to LSB, power due to USB and power due to carrier signal. So one can identify total power that will be algebraic addition of this three right. Now here if you observe we have 1 by 8 mu square Vc square 1 by 8 mu square Vc square so you can say in total it is 1 by 4 mu square Vc square right. Now here one thing that you need to understand. See this Vc square by 2 that is power due to carrier signal right. This Vc square by 2 that is power due to carrier signal and this 1 by 4 mu square Vc square that is total sideband power right that is Ps that is total sideband power right and as I have told you carrier signal is not having any information and sideband is having information right and based on that one can identify efficiency. So here first equation that we have derived for total power that is Vc square by 2 plus 
1 by 4 mu square vc square. Now using this equation, I will explain you calculation of efficiency. So what is efficiency? Efficiency is a ratio of power due to sideband divided by total power, right? So here we need to identify efficiency. That is a ratio of sideband power divided by total power. Why? The reason is sideband power that is carrying information. So information power divided by total power that is efficiency, right? So what is sideband power? That is 1 by 4 mu square vc square. And what is total power? vc square by 2 plus 1 by 4 mu square vc square. Let us substitute that over here. And let us simplify this. Here, you can cancel out vc square by 2 from numerator and denominator. So in numerator, we will be having half of mu square. And in denominator, here we have 1. And here we have mu square by 2, right? And if you take LCM of this half, then here we will be having 2 and this 2 and this 2 is getting cancelled. So we will be having mu square divided by 2 plus mu square. Right. So this is efficiency of AM signal. That is mu square divided by 2 plus mu square. Now I'll explain you redundancy. What is redundancy? Redundancy that is simply 1 minus efficiency. Right. So now I'll explain you calculation of redundancy that is D. That is 1 minus efficiency. So if you take 1 minus efficiency that is mu square divided by 2 plus mu square and if you take LCM here then here in numerator we will be having 2 plus mu square minus mu square divided by 2 plus mu square means mu square mu square is getting cancelled and we will be having 2 divided by 2 plus mu square. So this is redundancy right. So now we have redundancy equation that is 2 divided by 2 plus mu square. We have equation of efficiency that is mu square divided by 2 plus mu square and we have equation of power that is vc square by 2 plus 1 by 4 mu square vc square. So these are the essential equations that you need to note down. The reason is using these equations will be solving problems in future coming videos as well as you need to note down these equations of carrier power that is vc square by 2 for LSB, it is 1 by 8 mu square vc square. For USB, it is 1 by 8 mu square vc square. In total sideband power, that is 1 by 4 mu square vc square. That is algebraic sum of these two. Right. So using these equations, in future coming videos, I will be solving problems. And here, you need to understand one thing. See this mu, that is modulating index. That is a ratio of modulated signals that is a ratio of Vm by Vc. Let me note it down. See here we have mu and that mu is Vm by Vc. That is a ratio of amplitude of modulating signal divided by amplitude of carrier signal. So using these equations in future coming videos I will be solving examples that will be <coughs> Here mu that is modulating index and one should know modulating index that is a ratio of Vm by Vc. So using this equation I will be explaining you some interesting examples calculation. So just keep a note of these equations and these equations that will be using it for solution of problems. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.